What's up guys, this is Astronox. We've got Hero Balance Adjustment Preview Part 1. So, Fire Corvus. Yeah, he's getting hit with the Nerf Bat pretty hard. So, today we'd like to inform you about future Hero Balance changes which are scheduled for October 31st. The developer's notes will uh, give details of heroes who will be nerfed and also a list of heroes who will be buffed. We will give you further details about heroes who will be buffed via a separate notice. So I'll cover that in a different video. So hero balance adjustment. Uh, yeah, Fire Corvus is getting nerfed. And there's uh, quite a few heroes that are getting buffed. So I'll, uh, I'll just show you who is getting buffed. Because they're not giving details in this, uh, in this one yet. And unfortunately, you know... Unfortunately, ML Ravi, you know, Apocalypse Ravi, she's not part of this round of buffs. But I, I'm sure it will happen uh, in the next one. I mean, it, yeah, it, it has to happen there. Okay, so Specimen says he's getting buffed. We don't know exactly uh, what's going to happen, but uh, yeah, he's getting one. Assassin Sid, he's not seeing a lot of plays, so that's good. Champion Zirato, he's getting buffed as well, which is good, good. And for three-star Moonlight Hero, we've got Mirsa. Mirsa is seeing some play, you know, as an evasion tank. She's actually, uh, she's actually pretty good, you know, r right now. So uh, we'll see what they do with her. And uh, Arrowell, finally, you know, Elson too. Like the nerf was pretty heavy on him. For the four-star and five-star Covenant heroes. We have Domino and Rin. Rin was already pretty decent, you know. Uh, Domino, uh, yeah, didn't see uh, much play at all. The Reflect mechanic is interesting, but it's just not enough. Kisei, very good that she's getting buffed because, you know, she's been outshined for, for a long time. I mean, she had her moment in Wyvern 11. She has her... Her strength is ready to deal extra damage against uh, like heroes which have a barrier. So that was, uh, I mean, it's good, but there's not so much barriers going on. I mean, Angelica is not like she's not so much in the in the PvP meta anymore. And uh, I mean, there was a lot of DN and a lot of Angelicas before, and like he say, she. she very good she was very good during that time but even in guild wars like she's still very good uh, if they have a hero that applies barrier you just you know even fallen cecilia she's like all over the place anyways so you can still use kise quite effectively but uh, the prime comes down to when there's a lot of debuffs she gets knocked out of stealth which is no not, not such a big deal though because she still deal her damage uh, you know, her uh, extra damage if she's out of stealth. Anyways, that's cool. She's getting a buff. Tenebrio is getting a buff too. Uh, that's good. Tenebrio is already pretty powerful, you know. Uh, she's just not seeing much play though. Uh, I really like the fact that her skill 3 uh, buffs attack and does defense break. I mean, defense breaks first and then uh, buff attack. So they might increase her chance to 100% on skill 3. And some of these heroes, I mean, they might have their uh, their stats uh, stats changed, but uh, it's mostly gonna be their skills. Can't wait to see what they do with all these heroes. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and we're gonna be seeing more of these heroes uh, in action. So very cool. Now let's talk about Fire Corvus, man. We all know how cancerous he can be on defense, man. Like he's just so strong in the current uh, state, in the current meta that, you know, players are going out of their way to just try to get him and just go crazy when they get him, you know. Um, if I did pull him on my Europe account, I would have built him. Um, but, yeah, I didn't. So, uh, I mean, he's getting nerfed now. So, the purpose of this hero balance uh, that is scheduled... Did I read that? Uh, so, let me just go through this stuff. I guess I should read up the opening though uh, you know, the, the purpose of this hero balance adjustment that is scheduled for October uh, 31st is to create a more pleasant game environment for our heirs we have confirmed that there are 
uh, certain heroes who greatly delay the progress of PvP matches. Mm, yeah, Fire Corvus. Yeah, that's it. We believe that this is great disparity from what Epic Seven is all about. From the fierce battle in each turn that we had uh, envisioned for our players. Therefore, we would like to correct this disparity through uh, hero balance adjustments. Please see below for more information regarding the hero balance adjustments. So, before on Shield Slam, I mean, he transfer a debuff. Okay, this is going to be a bit weird here. Um, so, 75% chance to transfer one debuff from the caster to the enemy. That, that's already very strong, but I mean, he retains this. What's happening here is, you know what, uh, damage dealt increased proportional to the caster's defense. And this, the scaling still happens, it's just that when there's an enrage mechanic now. You know, they, they, add, they added the rage mechanic to fire Corvus. And uh, when he is enraged, the damage dealt increase and the target is stunned for uh, one turn. So, yeah, the the stun here is going to happen if he is enraged. Because they are removing things from his uh, skill uh, 3. Uh, attacks all enemies with an iron ma uh, mace, decreasing combat units by 30%. You know, this is all there. What's... Yeah, what's dangerous is when you're at zero com uh, combat readiness or you get reduced to zero uh, combat readiness, then he stuns. So this is staying, but they're adding the thing that says that when the caster is enraged, combat readiness reduction is doubled, uh, damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's defense. So now instead of having everything happening with uh, whenever he uses skill 3, it's, they're like spreading things here uh, in each of his skills. So like they said, uh, he's, the way they're making him now is he's still going to shine in early uh, game, like in an early battle. But then as the battle drags on, he loses mo uh, momentum. He's not like that crazy, like a crazy old man that just like keep on gaining turns, healing himself basically taking off all the de the two turn debuffs off of him because he's getting an extra turn and he's going and then like they're gone it's like uh okay so what's happening here is that skill three used to uh, require 50 fighting spirit which is what was allowing him to just cycle through his turns like crazy and that was ridiculous man like with the randall he's just like gaining so much you know, um, he's getting so much combat readiness, he's building his uh, rage, he easily gets that 50 fighting spirit, especially when you have your whole team attacking him, so that was uh, super annoying to deal with. Now, you still, you know, strengthen the caster with fighting spirit, making the caster enraged for three turns. So, before he had a defense buff, and defense buff is actually very powerful. That's sixty percent increase to your defense. So uh, when you have to deal with him with that uh, debuff, and if he has high effect resistance, then you just like you might not be able to take it off. You might not be able to land debuffs on him, and it, it gets really crazy. So uh, begins the first battle with uh, fifty fighting spirit and acquires 10 fighting spirit when attacked which is uh, the way it was before but really like doubling the fighting spirit requirement to hit skill 3 is uh, yeah that that's a massive nerf so he can't just like go crazy and just like keep on using skill 3 and heal up you know and uh, combined with the defense buff before which is now removed it's gonna make him uh, it's gonna be much easier to take him out so, uh, now the Rage effect has been added. Um, increased defense and effect resistance by 30%. So, that is the effect of uh, the Rage buff, which cannot be dispelled. So, this is, this is new. We didn't have Rage effect before. You know, um, we have 
a similar thing, which is Vigor on Fire Ken. Vigor buff increases your attack by 30% and your defense by 30% and it cannot be dispelled. So that's the same way. It's just that it's more for defense. You've got that effect resistance. So at least you know he's got 30% effect resistance now. So you can build him with like much more effect resistance potentially if you will not be recalling him. You know, but uh, be mindful that uh, he yeah took a major hit with, uh, he, I mean, whenever that drops, whenever that uh, update happens, you know, and uh, they have this schedule for the uh, 31st of October. So let's just go ahead and I'll go through what they, they, they're saying about this nerf here. Uh, please note that the details provided in this hero balance adjustment preview may differ from the actual update. If there are any changes made, we will let you know via an additional notice. The existing Corvus was designed to maintain a high defense using the skill Fury's Advance, uh, that's the skill 3, and to subdue the enemy after recovery and skill buffs by using a skill that limits the enemy's movement. However, if Corvus is fighting against a number of heroes alone and the, the, the enemy does not deal more uh, than a set amount of damage, it is hard for Corvus to be defeated. In some situations, it become more advantageous for Corvus to fight against enemies alone. Yeah, because if he's like the sole survivor, you know, all attacks are uh, going to hit him, meaning that he's going to get uh, fighting spirit faster, which means he's going to be able to uh, keep uh, using skill 3, which is super ridiculous, you know. Uh, but they, some of these effects, like they... Uh, like skill one and skill skill two got effects that if if you are you know if you are um, enraged you know enraged you uh, you deal additional things so the stun on skill one and then here the thing is you know you still have the stun if you get their combat readiness to zero or if it was already at zero but yeah the combat readiness uh, reduction is doubled whenever you're enraged but you're not the uptime on enrage is not going to be a hundred percent um you know unless maybe the whole their whole team is attacking you uh i yeah it's not going to be a hundred percent i mean they're doubling the fighting spirit you know you're you need you need a hundred and you're getting 10 every time you're getting attacked so it you would need the enemy uh team to overlap you hard so you would need to be very slow and if you're getting attacked like multiple times uh, maybe twice uh each time like uh they're going twice before you're going once maybe something like that and then you you're also getting 30 fighting spirit with uh skill number two instead of 10 so still there will be a downtime and that's really that, that window where he's going to be vulnerable uh, because i mean especially without the defense buff he is though getting a defense increase and effect resistance increase um you know in the buff that is undispellable so that's good but it, he's definitely not going to be as uh, big of a threat as he was before so the purpose of this adjustment is to maintain Corvus's recovery ability and skill enhancement early in the battle and to lessen the problems that have occurred uh, due to these abilities in the extended battle. The first change that uh, we would like to explain is in regard to his skill, uh, Fury's Advance. Initially, this skill was designed to be activated in the early to mid stage of a battle, but in reality, it was activated nearly every turn. Yep. <laughs> yeah, causing Corvus to recover too much health. To recover, uh, to resolve this uh, issue, we have raised the required fighting spirit that must be consumed from 50 to 100. However, the amount of fighting spirit uh, gained when uh, Macerate is used will be increased and a certain amount of fighting spirit will be automatically be uh, granted to Corvus at the start of battle so that the difference in strength in the early stages of battle will not be drastically different. Next, Corvus's skill enhancing effect granted from Fury's Advance will be changed. Most buffs 
and debuffs in Epic 7 are marked with icons and are affected by various battle rules. However, unlike other effects, Corvus's skill uh, enhancing effects was not uh, constrained to these rules and therefore undermine uh, undermine the uniformity of the game's battle uh, rules. Therefore, uh, through this adjustment, we plan to change the existing skill description to act similar to the current skill enhance system. Therefore, the rage effect will be uh, will replace the existing skill enhancing uh, effect. Rage effect will enhance both shield slam and macerate, as well as increasing both defense and effect resist effect resistance by 30%, helping resisting debuffs such as sleep and stun while fortifying defense. Well, as well as uh, unhealable, because that's that's a great way to put a stop to him if he's not like constantly using skill three, getting an extra turn, uh, overlapping you with uh, the combat readiness reduction and all that. But he's like so st stat hungry that y you can't have him with everything high. You know, you, you still need to build him. Uh, like he needs to be, uh, his stats needs to be balanced because he can't just invest too much into one because the, uh, I mean, yeah. Additionally, the 60% defense increase has been removed as it will be replaced by the rage effect. Finally, the skill descriptions for Corvus has been improved so that players do not have to check the skill description of two skills. Um, the thing is, like, even the defense buff, like, even if you removed it, you know, he was able to just skill three again heal himself and just like have the defense buff back on himself following the adjustment of corvus players will be allowed to recall this hero in a similar manner to other covenant heroes that have been adjusted in the past players who wish to recall corvus will be able to do so for two weeks after the patch if recalled players will be receive uh, will receive back experience and other materials that were used on this hero. Additionally, we will inform our players about underutilized heroes that will be buffed. Please see below for more details, uh, detailed information. Buffed heroes and formation. Following the balance adjustment that occurred on the uh, 5th of September, we have monitored both PV content as well as PVP content and have confirmed that the over-reliance on certain 5-star Moonlight heroes has decreased while performance for Covenant heroes has increased. However, we have found that certain heroes are still underutilized and therefore we will, uh, we will, they will buff them. Please see below for the list of heroes that will be buffed. Note that we will provide additional information in a separate notice. So I'll cover that again. So yeah, uh, the heroes that I talked about that are getting buffed I mean, it's really cool. Uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot of play out of these heroes. I wonder if they will change them like heavily, like some of these heroes, if they might just rework the, the whole hero or they're gonna work with their current skill sets and improve like numbers. We'll have to wait and see. They did talk about that specimen says, you know, the way he's currently uh, in the game, he will be very powerful in uh, future content in the game. So. They're probably talking about real-time arena, you know, because if you land a stun on the uh, enemy and you have Specimen says, especially with attack buff, but I don't think you even need the attack buff because he penetrates 100% defense, you know, uh, then you just delete that target with him. So there is that and uh, maybe there was going to be some PV battles where you know, the boss maybe gets stunned or something of the sort. Players have been uh, speculating. And if the boss gets stunned, which like bosses cannot be stunned normally in the game. But if uh, that particular encounter allows you to have the boss stunned, well, maybe like, yeah, then Spitzman says would deal insane amount of damage. Okay, so we hope that our heirs will give us their valuable opinions about the proposed balance adjustments detailed in this post, as well as a future post where we will give more uh, detailed information regarding the heroes that will be buffed. The Epic 7 team will do our best to listen to the valuable opinion of our heirs and work as hard as possible to make Epic 7 even better. Thank you! Okay, so exciting stuff. You know, if you have one of these uh, heroes that will be uh, buffed like for myself on my first account 
uh, when I did pull Kise, I since you know it was like, man, it, she was like my first natural five star that I pulled or something like that. So I invested heavily into her. You know, she's like uh, she has twelve skill ups, I believe, something of the sort. So yeah, I can't wait to see what happens with her. And of course, all the other heroes. I mean, all the heroes that are in there, I have them besides Specimen says across all of my three accounts. Uh, like Champion Zirato, he's built on my Europe account and I'm actually using him right now. Of course, he's like underperforming compared to other uh, heroes, especially four-star Moonlight heroes. But I can't wait to see what they're going to do uh, with him. Uh, maybe they just increase his chance to land attack break and defense uh, down debuff. 200% chance with skill 3. Right now it's 75% chance. What's very powerful is that if you soul burn, he ignores effect resistance. So that, that's strong. And if they bring it to 100%, a lot of players will be adding him part of their cleave to soul burn and have a reliable way to, you know, land uh, defense break and attack break. But it's, for them, it's mostly going to be at, about attack break to just uh, take him out during their, uh, their cleave when they go first. But still, like the attack break, if you don't kill all of them, it definitely, I mean, you cut their attack in half, so that's very cool. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what they have planned for us, for uh, these other heroes. You know, if they are buffing Mirsa, Aruel, and Elsen, then they have to keep in mind that uh, they will eventually have specialty change for these heroes. So we probably won't expect like a crazy buff for uh, three-star Moonlight heroes, you know. Because, yeah, specialty change later down the line. But it's cool that they're going to buff Elsen. Because that, that nerf was uh, pretty hard uh, core. But now there's... Uh, I mean, they introduced more uh, free heroes and all that. So, uh, especially uh, Furious. You know, uh, he doesn't provide an attack buff. It's a crit chance buff with defense down. But maybe Elsen gets buffed enough that in early game, you know, it could be like Furious plus Elsen crazy buff team going on uh, with some backup kill from else and that, that's pretty cool you know uh, we'll have to wait and see like I said so that's it for this one guys uh, thanks for watching I'm Astronox like comment subscribe for more press the bell icon for like to be notified whenever I release a new video and check out my other videos they should be showing up on the screen now playlist of all sorts arena guild wars guides tips and how to's and abyss 462 plus so check those out if you haven't and also join my discord server the link is in the description uh, we have over 500 members now, so come join the fun, and good luck with all you do in the game. Peace out for now.